If you're writing code and finding it difficult to keep it tidy, then there is a way to fix this. In this video, I'll be covering how I set my projects up to easily format my code. I'll be using, using both ESLint and Prettier and covering how to set these packages to create rule sets to keep your code clean and formatted. And also showing you how to set up your VS Code to use the Prettier and ESLint extensions, which will make your life a lot easier. Now, as you can see here in my browser, this small app is a React app. So I'll be going through how I will set up a React app. Firstly, I'll just show you that the app works. It's a very, very simple to-do list, very basic. Walk the dog by food. eat food. So it's working as intended. So now let's take a look at my code. So this is my code. As you can see, it's quite a mess and it makes it harder to read. There is a mix of single and double quotes here, here, here. JSX elements split over multiple lines with no particular coherence. And it make, this sort of thing makes it harder to read. Many tabs all over the place as well. And we'll have to scroll down quite a way in order to see the final line and if indeed there is an extra line at the end. Now, first thing we're going to be using is ESLint. So what is ESLint? To quote from their website, ESLint statically analyzes your code to quickly find problems. Many problems ESLint finds can be automatically fixed. ESLint fixes are syntax aware, so you won't experience errors introduced by traditional find and replace algorithms. Basically, ESLint will add suggestions to avoid bugs in your code and let you know if you are writing code that will develop a bug. So to fix the issues that I have, the first step will be installing ESLint. Now this installation presumes the existence of a package.json file. If you're using React, then this will have been created when you ran npx create react app. If you haven't got a package.json file, then run npm init to get one. So now I'm going to go to my terminal and I'm going to stop my server. And then I'm going to run npm install eslint dash dash save dash dev because we want this as a dev dependency rather than a dependency i want to run that now it may take a little time and there we go so now what I'm going to do is set up ESLint by running npx ESLint dash dash init. I'm going to increase the size of my terminal a little. And give it a moment to get ready. And we're going to get asked a series of questions on what we want to do. So this is the following that I'm going to choose. We can check syntax only, check syntax and find problems, or check syntax, find problems, and enforce code style. Move on to this and press enter. Then we have what type of modules does your project use? We want JavaScript modules, import, export. Which framework does your project use? React. Does your project use TypeScript? This is a no, but you could set it up for TypeScript. Where does your code run? Browser. And we're going to use a popular style guide. The particular one I'm going to use is Google. You have other options, but I like the Google. 
What format do you want your config file to be in? JavaScript. And here, as you can see, checking peer dependencies of ESLint, config, Google, at latest. The config that you've selected requires the following dependencies. ESLint plugin, dash react at latest, ESLint config dash Google at latest, and ESLint greater than or equal to five, version 5.16.0. Would you like to install them now? Yes, I would. Which package manager am I using? I like NPM. Great. So that's installed. The next step is to install Prettier. So what is Prettier? Prettier is a package that, to quote from the website, it removes all original styling and ensures that all outputted code conforms to a consistent style. Basically, it formats our code. To install Prettier, we run npm install dash dash save dash dev dash dash save dash exact prettier After Prettier has been installed, what we need to do is install something else in order that we can navigate around conflicts between ESLint and Prettier. So we will install via npm, pmi, install, dash dash save, dash dev, ESLint, dash config, dash Prettier. Now I'm going to reduce the size of my terminal and as we can see we now have some issues. We're going to hover over and I want you to pay attention to this at the to this at the bottom. Missing JS doc comment ES lint require JS doc. We will get to that later on. But I also want you to look at this file that's been created. Dot ESLintRC.js. And this is our configuration file for ESLint. So I want you to make an addition in here at the in the extends key in the value array add prettier with a trailing comma next at the root of the project create a file dot prettier rc And in here, we're going to create this object and we are going to put in some rules. End of line. If you are on a Windows machine, CRLF. If you are on a Mac or Linux, LF. As I'm on Windows right now, CRLF. This adds an extra line to the end of each file. Next is print width. And I'm going to set this to 50. No particular reason. Print width, what this is on 50 characters, Prettier will wrap the line. We could make it 20, we could make it 80, 
default is 80, make it 100 or 1000, I'm going to leave it at 50. Tab width, 2, size of each tab. Trailing comma, and set this to the ES5 rules. This will add a trailing comma when required. Bracket spacing, setting it to true. I'll show you what this does later, but basically what it means is if you use curly braces, say in an object, it will automatically space out things that you type within the curly braces. And then single. What this will do is, if I set it to true, it sets a single attribute to each line in HTML or JSX element. Next, we're going to create two files, prettier.prettierignore and .eslintignore at the root of our project. Dot prettier ignore and dot ignore. And these will act in a similar way as to the git ignore. And so what I'm going to do for convenience sake, I'm going to copy the git ignore file and add to both the pretty ignore and ES lint ignore. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the file in the source folder. No format .js and leave it blank. And I'm going to add in the eslintignore slash src slash no format dot js and into the pretty ignore file as well. This will serve as an example later on as to how the prettier ignore and ESLint ignore files will ignore a particular JavaScript file. After this is done, so let me just save that. After this is done, the next task is to configure VS Code, both through the UI on the settings and by adding a .VS Code folder with a settings.json file. So please watch the next video to continue with that.